to teach you about how to perform a rectal irrigation. Awesome, my name's Taylor and I have to tell you I'm pretty nervous about this, but I'm excited to learn. Taylor, don't be nervous, you're gonna do great and the more we practice with it, the easier it will get. Awesome, can you tell me just a little bit more about what a rectal irrigation is? Sure, a rectal irrigation is something that you will do to li help liquefy the stool to evacuate it from the body. It might be easiest if I show you. Sure, yeah. I've got an idea. Let's use this watermelon for the part of the demonstration. Okay, uh, what else are we gonna need today? So you'll need a catheter that may be yellow or red in color, a catheter tip syringe, you'll need some normal saline solution, as well as a cup for drawing up your solution, you'll need some water-soluble lubricant, you'll need a basin, as well as a towel or absorbent pad. Awesome, okay, so what's next? So first we're gonna get our baby in position and set up our supplies. So first what you'll want to do is draw up the saline that the doctor has ordered, the appropriate amount. You'll draw it up using your syringe and you'll know you're at the right amount by seeing where it is on the hash mark of the syringe. Once you've done that, you're going to want to wash your hands and come back and open up your lubrication package. You'll take your catheter and lubricate the end of the tip. Next, at this point, if you want to lift your watermelon baby's legs, <laughs> we'll get them in a good position. Perfect. Two good positions are either on the back or on their side with their knees up to their chest. You have your catheter in your hand, and one hand is on the invisible watermelon baby's feet. Perfect. So at this point, you'll find the rectum and advance the catheter. You may meet a little resistance initially, and just hold your catheter in place until your baby relaxes and calms down. Once that happens, the catheter can be advanced about six inches and see what drains out into your basin. You may have pockets of air that drain out as well as pockets of fluid. Both are acceptable. You also may have fluid that leaks out around the catheter, which is okay. At this point, you'll want to continue advancing your catheter until you meet resistance. You continue to have pockets of water and or air that drain out into your basin. Gotcha. Once you've stopped draining, you can go ahead and grab your syringe and attach it to the end of your catheter. You can start inserting the saline in about 10 to 20 milliliters. And at this point, here I will have you hold onto the catheter. Like this? Yep. You'll disconnect your catheter and then you're going to use kind of an in and out motion back and forth, advancing the catheter and removing the catheter, trying to get different pockets of air and stool to come out. You'll repeat these steps with the saline, disconnecting the syringe and having the stool and air come out until the stool is clear. At that point, you can slowly start removing the catheter in small increments until it's completely removed. At that point, you're done with your rectal irrigation. Okay, so once the catheter's out, what's next? So next, you'll want to clean up anything that's dirty um, that you've used. So you'll do this by discarding anything that you don't need to reuse again. You'll want to save your catheter and your syringe and wash those out with soap and water and let them air dry. Next, you'll wash your hands again. You'll go back to your baby and make sure you feel their belly again. You'll want to make sure that it's softer and less firm than it was before. Thank you so much for teaching me this today. It's so important for me to know. Is there anything else I should be looking out for? Good question. You should contact your surgery provider if you're having any difficulty performing the irrigations, if you're meeting any resistance or having difficulty draining the stool, if your child's belly is really firm or round, or if the child is acting sick in any way, you should contact your team for more directions. I definitely will, thank you.